Hello guys, it's Rad and uh, welcome to the channel, welcome to Radku Tarot and this is going to be a weekly tarot reading uh, for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising <clears throat> February 4th to February uh, 10th 2019 and now I'm going to do the shuffling here uh, with the cards and uh, while I'm do so, while while I am doing it, so I want to remind you uh, once again that uh, this is a uh, general reading for Aquarius star sign, and for that reason, it's uh, going to basically resonate in a different level with uh, every single uh, different Aquarius. So if you want your personal situation to be um, analyzed by me, uh, just like I'm doing for the uh, examples in this video, then that is a subject of a personal reading. And for such, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. So the first card for your query is that we do have, which is the topic of uh, your week, that is going to be the Five of Cups followed by the second card which is the negative approach you can take toward the situation or how you can worsen your situation here that is going to be the seven of uh, swords what we do have as a third card it is the nine of wands and that will be uh, the uh, what you can do to improve the circumstances into your situation or the positive undertaking and approach toward it toward the topic and the final outcome that we do have, this is going to be the two of wands. And that points the final outcome should you follow the advice that Tarot is giving to your Aquarius through those couple of cards. All right. So uh, uh, this is going to be a, a week that you will have to tackle with, uh, with some unpleasant enterprises. Uh, that is simply displayed with the five of cups here. Uh, as a topic, there is no other way around it. Uh, you know, as much as I want to interpret it in an ultimately positive way, the Five of Cups itself as a topic, it does point that there are going to be some sort of disappointments. Some of you are going to experience partial losses. That is very important here. It's a partial loss. It's not an ultimate loss or it's a partial disappointment. It is not an ultimate disappointment. And for that reason, when we do have the Five of Cups, regardless of how bad the situation is, regardless of uh, what kind of a plight you find yourself in, uh, there is a, a way how you can traverse it. There is a, a way how you can save it and how you can improve it. Uh, because uh, the Five of Cups points as well that you should not deviate from the path that you have chosen. So in case that you are in a relationship, you choose to be in that relationship and throughout the week, February 4th to February 10th, this relationship isn't working out very well. Well, that should not be a prerequisite or a reason for you to abandon it and to, you know, uh, simply to abandon it, but rather it should be a reason for you to give more efforts in, in order to sustain and consolidate it. What I can uh, get from this reading is that um, you will be a captain of a ship and as a captain does, it should not abandon the ship, all right? But it should try to stabilize it. It should try to make it work. So literally, this is how the Five of Cups uh, refers. Now, the thing with the Five of Cups is that some past poignant circumstances could be brought again into uh, the spotlight. To give you an example of that, uh, your partner could point to something you did back in the past that they, that uh, kind of like harmed them, they felt bad about it, it hurt them as well, and so on and so forth. And you can do the same thing. It's basically what the Five of Cups points is that these um, partial losses, disappointments could very well arise from a, uh, opening up an, an old wounds that have been almost healed, all right? But for some reason, uh, one or another person involved into the situation, it kind of like start digging them up and start opening them up once again um, to basically make the situation harder than the situation needs to be. But uh five of cups it's um like i said it's a card where urges you not to give up 
<clears throat> and uh, despite of what kind of a plight you got to tackle throughout the week, uh, definitely you can end up uh, you can end up victorious at the end because uh, with the five of cups you should not be focused on the cups which already fell and which spilled out um, or spewed out uh, their content, but rather uh, the cups that are yet standing upwards and that still have content left there to be consumed. So basically you got to try to see the positivity out of the situation regardless of how difficult that is for you uh, throughout the week. This is what is going to keep you going. This is what is going to keep you ticking. And with the uh, Ten of Pentacles, additionally to the Five of Cups, it does uh, give a shade here that uh, you someone will betray your trust. Basically, this is most likely how the things are going to unfold. And you may recognize that um, you have been naive and that you placed uh, resources or you have invested resources, in this case, trust and uh, emotional contemplation, emotional connection into something that it is not read either yeti or it does not worth you investing your emotions and trust in them. So uh, what uh, is going to be the negative approach toward the situation? Seven of Swords. As we said that you should not abandon it, but try to traverse it in toward the positive end. Seven of Swords refl refers to abandoning one's agenda in favor of, of another. And that is the thing that you should not do. As you can see, the person is walking away, is leaving. It's abandoning the war camp, a war camp that they have been part before. So it's kind of like that person chooses the easy way out and on top of that, they are kind of like taking some benefits with them, all right? And simply they have contributed to the uh, situation to arise in a such a way. And as soon as the situation arises and it doesn't suit them to 100%, that person abandons. So you should not be like that guy here, all right? You should take full responsibility of the previous actions, of the actions that you can do throughout this uh, particular week and basically show a, a determination that you are ready to, to simply work it out and you are ready to um, cut your losses really because this is what it's all about, cutting out your losses and moving on forth with, uh, with this agenda, trying to work it out and try, trying to bring it back on its feet because if you proceed on that direction, determined to bring it back on its feet it is what is going to happen but also with the seven of swords uh, obviously uh, lying about uh, the reasons why you um why you are either sticking or abandoning the situation is a bad thing to do it's gonna hunt you and eventually you will have to pay for your lies uh, but it's also very important not to deceive yourself and to be objective what and what can be and what cannot be conquered or achieved throughout this specific week all right so you have to be objective about your goals here how to uh how to sustain and bring back on your on the feet this poignant situation and as well the seven of swords urges you in this position urges you to be humble you should not approach the situation in a warmongery fashion the card that it is additional to it that will be uh, the nine of cups and with this card falling with the nine of swords uh with the seven of swords excuse me uh you need to kind of have a, a a determination to how can i place it to face the consequence it's difficult to explain it really guys but to face the consequences of this poignant approach that someone else had taken against you or with you all right so you cannot expect that you got to dig up or kind of like you you got to take care for some dirt that has been dug up uh, without getting your hands dirty and this card points that the process itself is not going to be dappled with glee it's not going to be as pleasant as you want it to be but it is a necessary process you're gonna you, you got to execute you know to recuperate your relationship or to solve the issues which previously arose in uh, in your project and etc etc and to be ready uh for that uh, the resolution 
or the action which needed to be taken not to be uh, much of a uh, pleasant surprise for you and not to not to be much of a something that you will be excited to do so uh, that was about the negative uh, aspect here and let's go to the next card which points to the positive approach what you can actually do to make a severe progress here and to improve your situation as we can see that the situation is not going to be ideal for you we do have the nine of wands and the nine of so the nine of wands first urges you to be conscious and not to charge prematurely to make resolutions. The Nine of Wands urges you first to make uh, needed adaptations with your strategies and with yourself really to draw from experience from your past, all right? So uh, when the situation arises for you guys, this uh, poignant situation of a partial loss or a, a partial disappointment, uh, then you have to think to roll back the, 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 the tape, you know, to, to roll uh, to a kind of like trespass the clock back and to think of what kind of a similar situation you had in the past and how you over, uh, overcome it, all right? Because uh, your approach, uh, the, the most, uh, how can I, the most productive approach of yours, which will grant you stabilization into your relationships or stabilizations into your career, and it will also allow you to further those goals forth, uh, will require from you to make some serious uh, uh, changes with yourself, that is, all right? Conscious changes with yourself or with your environment. These conscious changes are going to be entirely under your control. So maybe you will have to rearrange your routine. Maybe you will have to rearrange or change the way how you interact with your co-workers. You, need to, uh, you may also have to change the way how you uh, communicate with your partner in, in your marriage or with your partner into your uh, relationship as well. Basically, uh, what that card asks you to be uh, patient enough, you know, and not to do things prematurely so you can foresee where those changes need to happen and slowly but steady, although as we saw that there will not be much of a pleasant at the start, they need to be a exerted should you want to stabilize that uh, that situation of yours if you don't care about what is going to happen feel free to do whatever you want but if you want uh, for example if your marriage rocks and you want to kind of like stabilize your marriage throughout the week according to my cards this is what you got to do as I have explained um, in a few seconds ago and the accompanied card of the nine of wands this is going to be the Hierophant, and the Hierophant in this specific case is all about trust. It's all about uh, determination regarding especially career. Uh, so your changes here need to uh, kind of like, how can I place it? Needs to breed uh, unyielding standpoint. So just, it's difficult to explain it without an example. So if someone betrays your trust, all right, and you feel really bad about it. This card points that yes, you have to readapt your uh, understanding of the people around you, but that doesn't mean that you have to lose hope that there are decent people around you. And that is what the Hierophant points. And these adaptations that you need to do, it should be instead of uh, going by the sense what the person is to test them first, how faithful they are, uh, as well, you know, how much trust you can have them before you actually give them a, an access to the, to the good stuff uh, in your life. And if we're talking about love, there is a, another interpretation here. Uh, I'm sorry to say it that way, but uh, you need to find uh, some sort of a, a different definition for love itself in case your love, your love life is on the rock here and things aren't really happening uh, for you. It kind of, it, it, it does require a, a different approach and that different approach will, can be uh, achieved through a, a patient a patient analyzation of, um, you know, of your deeds. And as I said, taking the necessary changes there so you can adapt yourself to the situation. Once again, not the situation needs to adapt to you, but you got to adapt to it, all right? And this is how you will be able 
to um, uh, to manage it. But uh, just on the uh, on the negative side here, if we're talking about someone who betrayed your trust, that is, I I, I cannot stress it enough. It's um, um, if someone betrays your trust um, once and even twice, you know. Fool me once, shame on uh, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So basically, uh, you obviously have to seek someone to replace them, but with a different uh, criteria. And it is where you know this adaptation, this conscious changes needs to take place. Place the criteria, but with the hierophant, you always need to go first for determination and uh, second for trust. So if you cannot trust somebody then you should not allow them to go close uh, in your personal life and if you see that someone is not as determined as you are then probably you don't have to work together so the last card that we do have for you Aquarius is this is going to be the two of wands which displays what happens should you follow the guidance that Tarot gave you uh, beforehand here and uh, this card it does point that your situation will stabilize and it does point that you will have that breakthrough to um how can i place it the breakthrough to actually make something happening out of it something positive happening out of it and as a matter of fact it's going to be a, such a surprise for you that you can actually pull it through that you will consider it as a, a grand achievement here and as a, a big conquest and while it is truly a, a grand achievement and big conquest, the job is far from done. I mean, you can't go for so much more with the two of wands. And it will be time for you to start um, searching for different turfs, different fields for you to conquer. Basically, that card urges you not to stop to develop your skills, your emotional state as well, or your... Um, your knowledge, it does depend where this five of, uh, five of Cups before as a topic is going to manifest. But this card urges you that just because you have experienced something poignant there, just because you had a, uh, uh, a setback for a couple of days or maybe three days, that doesn't mean that you should stop improving and growing into that direction. As a matter of fact, you need to start uh, proceeding forth with developing your skills, your knowledge, your emotional attachment, if you want to say it that way, and cultivate all those blessings that you do have with a, a further enterprises that takes place exactly into that direction. So, for example, if you have been betrayed into uh, one relationship, then this card urges you to, as soon as you settle down the things into that relationship, either break it or make it, you got to seek to further that emotional connection. If that is a new person then you should not be biased by your poignant experience from the past or if this is the same person and you could have worked the things out then that means that you gotta bring that relationship into the next level and give that man or a woman a, a chance to this time around prove themselves of their faithfulness and of the sense of trust that they can breed within you and the additional card that we do have that is going to be the page of cups and as the Page of Cups comes around, uh, that is a uh, kind of like a, a savior here, or it is a, a point of salvation. Basically, the appearance of this card with the uh, Two of Wands as a uh, active enemies, it does point that you don't have to go through separation, you don't have to go through breakup, you don't have to go through, uh, 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 through job loss as well. If you are able to adapt yourself to the situation, reassess your strategies, reassess your positions, uh, re rearrange them as well as you uh, assess them, and basically align yourself to it and you are going to see that things are going to proceed on forth as uh, as intended and as expected and you will discover many new fields of growth in the framework of this marriage career path uh, relationship and so on and so forth so that being said aquarius is this was your weekly tarot reading excuse me for um february 4th to february 10th 2019 and uh, once again that was a general reading for Aquarius star sign and for that reason is going to resonate differently with every single different Aquarius. If you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me just like I did for the few examples in this video 
true tarot, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Uh, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.